Yes, this is your boy Bonnie. And in the UK, in Luton today, I'm doing this video from my bedroom window. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video from my bedroom window is to just show what it is like outside from my bedroom window. You know, sometimes you live in the West Indies and you see somebody come to Jamaica and you think to yourself, we live in foreign country, but you don't realize what we have to go through in a foreign country that we can come there to give something. This is daytime now. This is not night time. This is literally, literally daytime. And basically, what I'm saying here is what the weather is like. Today's Monday. Today's Monday. And it is after 3 o'clock in the evening now. And it's like night time outside. So, I'm literally doing this video to show what it is like in the UK, 3 o'clock in the evening, on a wintry day. So, my fans, have a good look. I'm in Luton, 3 o'clock in the evening, and I'm doing this little video from my bedroom window that you all can see. Normally, if you look out into the far, you can see a little light. That light is actually a school. But that's all you can see from it. But how in that area, if it was bright day, you would see three high rise flat. But no, you can't see nothing out there. Nothing. So normally you would see a lot of houses, school, high rise flat is, flats in Okwell Ring. You will see the Okwell Ring high rise flat in Luton. But now you can't see anything. Now what I'm going to do one day when the weather is good, I'm going to come back right here and I'm going to do another video exactly like this one. To show you what this is, what's the difference? What's the difference? So remember, I'm just highlighting what the weather is like in Luton this Monday, wintery Monday after Christmas. So this is the Monday after Christmas, and it's three o'clock in the evening. And I'm doing this little video from my bedroom window. So, remember, if you like the video, share the video, comment and subscribe. Let me know what you think about the video. Let me, let me know what you think about the English weather that we have. It is nothing compared to the Caribbean weather. So, this is a boy body highlighting the weather. Yeah. So, also, I want to take this time to greet some of my family in Jamaica. Big up my auntie Dry Super Seafoot and the children named Rudy, brothers of Seafoot, my uncle. Big up. Esther, my sister, on a Patagoli seafood, big up. And all the family, Derek, my brother, seafood, big up. All the family in a St. Thomas. Pamangaro, Cedar Valley, my brother, Delroy, my sister, Altia, Miss Will, 
Pamangoro. Big up to all of the family in a St. Thomas. From Kingston right round to Marat Bay, from Marat Bay up to Cedar Valley. My daughter and a put on Tony Kimon and my granddaughter Kenya. Big them up. My daughter Lisa, Spanish town. Big up to you. We will speak when the new year come around if God spare my life to see it. I'm advising them to keep safe from all what's going on in Jamaica because every time that we watch news, all we can see is killing and killing and killing and killing and killing. But we don't save nowhere when it comes to this COVID. So I'm encouraged each and every one, wherever you are, be safe, be safe, be safe from this COVID. Nobody know where COVID is. Nobody know what COVID look like. Nobody know who we're going to catch. And nobody know who is going to kill. So, I'm appealing to each and every one, family, friends, people who I don't know, be careful of COVID. Wear your mask, sanitize, keep social distant. This is my message to every person. It don't care where you are. It don't care whether you're related to me, yes or no. But my message to everyone, be careful of COVID. Because COVID do not respect no one. You know, people out there say they're not doing this and they're not doing this and they're not doing this. But let me tell you something. You won't take COVID serious until when it happened to you or a family member of you or one of your children or somebody who you know very close. But I'm telling each and every one out there, I have experienced COVID because my family catch it, my friend catch it, close friends, close family member. So I'm encouraged each and every one, let us be smart, let us be wise, let us be sensible and stop silly how be the government wherever you are in Jamaica, Canada, America, Trinidad, wherever you are in the world obey the rule we notice we have a new strain of coronavirus we don't even know if a corona or white card but we have a new strain of virus then call it yeah and then say it's even more dangerous than the one before and we don't see it. We don't know what it look like. We don't know where it locate. And once we go out there and we touch something and we don't sanitize our hand and touch our face, mouth, nose or whatever where we touch, it's gone. We're gone. So I'm begging you. The NHS is overrun right now. Ambulance is backing up outside the hospital because there's no bed for the unload the man. And the only thing that we need to do is to act sensible. I know come January it's going to be even worse because of things that were done during Christmas. Yeah? So, I'm begging you, I'm begging you, I'm begging you, I'm begging you. Hack sensible. I can't stress this anymore. My message to each and every individual is to keep social distant, sanitize, wear your mask, and act sensible. That's all me have to say. To each and every one, wherever you are. Here people say them now and take the vaccine. I can't force you to take the vaccine. But I can tell anybody, if 
tomorrow morning they call me to take the vaccine i go and go and take it because i don't come here to live forever and if me go die by vac vaccine me go die and if it go save my life it go save my life so i'm not being stupid i'm being silly like anybody else i'm telling you this right now if i call to take the vaccine tomorrow i go and take it because i know one day i'm gonna die and if vaccine gonna save my life and let me live a bit longer it's gonna do that and if it gonna kill me it's gonna do that so whatever way if the vaccine will kill me me still have got it one day covid can kill people me know your vaccine will kill nobody and how much thousand of people get vaccine already me know you kill nobody yeah so make us stop stop hack silly and do the right thing do the right thing. So I want to say to every person out there, I love you. I, even if I don't even know you, I still love you. Because Jesus loved me and he loved you. We are a child of God. We all children of God. Let us hack like sisters and brother. Let us stop hate over one another, kill over one another. Grudge for one another, bad man who wants your curl. Can I even call the word? Yeah? Let us stop. Hate us, one another, man. We are one. Whether you're black, white, Syrian, Chinese, Indian, whatever you is, we are one. Yeah? So let us, let us live as one. Let us show love to one another. Let us embrace one another. I don't have the time for, for yet people. I'm bad mind people. This 2021 coming, let us be a different people. We manage to make it through 2020. Whoever make it through because we still not reach the end of it yet. We have a couple of days left, two days left. Yeah? So if God help us to make it through this 2020 into 2021, let us start to behave in a different manner. Let us start to show love to one another. Let us start to respect one another. Let us start be kind to one another. Show people, show one another love. You know, we, we this coronavirus that, that we've been facing, we don't know where it comes from. We don't know what is home, what the reason for it. But God has shown some sign. God is teaching us some patience. Imagine lockdown in your house for one year. One year. Because nobody know if this not gonna go on up until April. You still lock down the same way. Some people don't leave the house since this coronavirus. So God is teaching us some patient, patient, patient. Teaching us to appreciate what we have. This Christmas. It's not a Christmas like normal Christmas that we used to have because there's no Christmas that you can tell me that ever pass where one people spend Christmas on their own, two people spend Christmas on their own, five people spend Christmas on their own. But God is teaching us some patience. So let us take this as a lesson. Learn to love one another. Learn to share what you have. Learn to appreciate what you have and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. My sisters and brother, I don't come here to preach to you, but I come here to encourage you, to let you know that God is teaching us patient and how to love one another, how to share with one another and appreciate what we have. So may God bless you May God keep you. May God guide you. May God protect you as we go in to 2020. And I just want to say, 
happy, happy, happy new year to every person who make it into 2021. God bless you as we travel in to 2021. Peace, love, happiness, and joy. And as I said, if it's your first time on this channel, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. But also hit that notification bell and you won't miss any video that goes up. This is my social media. This is my platform. And I use it to encourage one another. God bless you. God keep you again into 2021. Thank you very much. Look forward to see you and meet you all in 2021. Bless.